In today's video, we're going to cover something new from Team Group, and these are Team Group T4 Delta Alpha, yeah, RGB DDR5 memory modules that are going in this build. Well, actually, they are right here already. And I did a quite interesting build right here with loads of combination of components. And you'll be seeing this build in a couple of future videos with loads of benchmarks, including, of course, the RAMs that I have right here. So what's it all about? You already seen the video with the standard Delta, and today we're going to cover the Delta Alpha RGB RAMs that are DDR5 and based for future platforms that are based on AM5 and the LGA1700. So what's it all about? And um, well, it, they do resemble to the past Delta on DDR4. And this gives me some personal pleasure in terms of the design. Now, here we have a quite interesting build, as you can see right here. We have the 7900X from AMD. We have the RTX 4070 Ti, which you will see benchmarks in gaming with these RAMs, of course. But in a separate video, just to give more, uh, let's say, no talk, just benchmarking games for you guys to see everything that you need to know about the FPS in 1080p, 1440p and 2160p. But today we're going to run benchmarks on these RAMs just to see how they compare to the standard deltas. And, well, unfortunately those deltas were on higher clock speeds, so it will definitely be loads of difference in speeds. But the cool thing about it is they do compete when we're talking about latency and they do place, at least in my benchmarks, in a higher tier RAMs comparing to others that I benchmarked so far in on the entire channel. So, as you can see, you have them in white and black. These are alphas and they go to maximum 6000 megahertz. These are on CL38 and they are exclusively made for AMD, so it supports Expo memory and XMP for Intel. Now, with these ones, you get a kit 2 times 16 gigs and on 6000 megahertz this is the top tier of these ones they can't go above 6000 megahertz unless you personally overclock them in bios and uh, the standard delta ones go even higher but the price range is here and the price difference of course so the deltas in 6000 megahertz go on discount currently on 144 the standard price is 165 dollars while these ones without the discounts go up to 140 so there's that there's that price difference but we'll see with the benchmarks is there going to be any difference when we're talking about price to performance ratio and this is going to be interesting because we're going to see the speeds in transfers not literally in gaming because unfortunately I can't have equal components since I'm buying most of the stuff when we're talking about the main components I can't give you an exact example throughout the whole benchmark series that I had with RAMs so I'm just using synthetic benchmarks and I really like to put that out right in front so you guys know what you're watching and you don't if this doesn't concern you you don't have to watch the entire video but just to clarify that's that so let's check it out what we're going to talk about the CL is 38 the latency is quite interesting compared to the other RAMs that I had for testing. So we have 79.4, which is really nice. The copy goes really high with 57,856 megabytes per second. Then we have read speeds going up to 62,254 megabytes per second and write speeds going up to 66,668 megabytes per second. I do have to mention the motherboard that we have right here. So this is ASRock X670E Taichi Carrara, which is of course top of the line from ASRock, including the standard Taichi model and of course the B650E Taichi as well. So these are extreme motherboards that can support higher clocks on the RAMs and well, basically, if I had stronger RAMs right here, they would be definitely supported. I do have a couple of those on 7200 MHz, but I'll leave that for another video for you guys to actually compare everything all together. But this is it. They do perform quite nicely. They're cheaper than the standard Deltas and they look really nice. I mean, I really loved the past Deltas uh, on DDR4 and I had them on, I think they were 36 
100 megahertz which they performed quite nicely they had cl16 they had cl18 as well and i think some of those were cl14 but now we're talking about ddr4 these are ddr5 comparing other ddr5 to these ones we had cl36 38 40 and even higher so these ones on cl38 are quite solid when we're talking about that and I have nothing to complain here so guys i would say this is a quite short video because benchmarks are quite easy when we're talking about synthetic benchmarking on rams so you just run ida 64 extreme edition and you wait for the results to end and uh, that's all there is to it basically comparing it to others when we're talking about the price they are quite affordable if you're switching to ddr5 and you want 6000 megahertz on top but if you want to go higher you can switch to standard deltas which go even higher than 6000 megahertz but then we're talking about the price so price performance ratio you do get quite a lot of advantages when we're talking about standard deltas and that's all there is to it so guys this is the build that you'll be seeing in future videos not too much but definitely something that will give you some information about this build in general the whole specification configuration we have as already stated rtx 4070 ti this is a supreme x we have 7900x 7900x 3d is arriving shortly so there will be another video comparing everything all together and we're going to have a quite interesting video just with gaming benchmarks there won't be me talking maybe just the intro to give you some heads up on the components for some of you guys that well for some of you guys that are watching this video of course you'll know everything already but for others that will be for the first time watching that video i'll just give the intro with the specifications so there's that links are in the description below for the team group t force delta alpha rgb ddr5 2 times 16 gigs on cl38 with 6000 megahertz this will be quite interesting for your build and that's all there is to it check out the links below and that'll be all for today thanks for watching see you next time bye bye